Alright, we live right now. Yeah, I'm blinding. I ain't got nothing to do with that, man. People get hot. People get hot. So it's YouTube, but my live, this ain't going live. No. Nah. It's not going live either? It's live. It ain't connecting with the people. Oh, so it's doing the same thing? I don't know yet. I oh, yeah, yeah. If you get a notification, then you'll know. You get a notification? I ain't got my phone. I ain't got one. You need to get their party something to cases go to your channel. Yeah. Now go to it. Yeah, see everybody texting. Yeah, you in there. So yeah, your membership thing I can know. So you gotta tell them that we're starting another thing or something. Like. That's a YouTube problem. So YouTube messed up. They link with the membership is messing up. Because mm. you see that link work perfect. That like link I work said, perfect. Ain't nothing on this computer. That's YouTube. Right? Okay. So what you about to say live? Yeah, I'm gonna say live. See. Can they hear me? Yeah, you live now. Your chat right there. <coughs> That's a YouTube problem. <coughs> You two is an ass, man. They tested it out the other day, like you said. Hey. Oh, so y'all can hear me? Let me know if y'all can hear me. I see the number, but what it means? Good morning. Good afternoon, everybody. Oh. 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 Okay, y'all can hear me? Okay, so guys, good afternoon. Man, you two some trash. That's all I can say. I love you two, y'all, but they take you through so much headaches. And so, I wanted to go live with you guys real quick because, first of all, this is a test run because we are trying to see whether or not um, my regular stream was working. So, you guys know last week I tested everything on members. And y'all, some of you guys who came in on the members live was able to come in. And as soon, y'all know I'm live, right? All the background noise y'all got going on. And I'm trying to talk. I need to hear myself talk. I'm trying to explain Man, something. I don't care about you being live, so T. Man, I'm about to smack me somebody up in here. Only person be talking is my grandbaby. Okay, guys. So this is what I was saying. We, I'm going to try again later on this evening, members. For our new talk show, How Was Your Weekend? And we're not getting into none of that today now. Because I did this as a test run to see if you two whole system messed up. But apparently, it's the connection on the members only side. And we've been sitting here for almost 30 minutes. Um, taking down um, links and putting up links. Take, just like everybody was saying, y'all couldn't see me. I couldn't see y'all. The chat wasn't working. My video was up. Wasn't nobody there. I'm just sitting here like this. Where everybody at? I don't see nobody. So I was going through the same thing you guys was going through. You couldn't see me. I couldn't see y'all. Well, I can't see y'all anyway. But I see y'all through chat. Nothing is working. Um, nothing is working. And I'm mad because you guys paid into a membership and... We did all the test runs last week. We got everything up and going last week. We knew where to go to, how to set it up, how to get it going. And the day of that I want to premiere, the week that I want to start all the new things for all you guys who took the time to become my members. My well, son the, member said, it's okay, just do the show yeah. for, every, for everyone. And the ones who aren't subscribed want to become members because they enjoy it. Yes. Okay, so this is going to be a sneak preview of... And thank you. Thanks for the idea. Thanks for the idea, guys. Thank you for just telling me that my son just read the comments. Because I'm upset and I'm not even reading the comments because I'm literally upset and I don't want to start my day off being upset, you guys. You know what I'm saying? But I want to deliver on what I promised. And it just seemed like my son had this saying. So before we even get started, let me just say, I see Miss Robin, I see Jan, Eats with Fifi, um, it's MDM, and Tracy Baby, New Life Journey, Journey, Heart Attack Candy, Lucy, Miss Will, Wills, uh, Pamela, Debbie Hill, Shadana, hey, what's up, everybody? Good afternoon. So, just like we do on, on the couch, before we get started on this, it's going to be what? like to thank God for waking us up to spend another day with our family and friends. Because remember, that alarm clock didn't wake you up. He did. He did. Okay. So, 
since we couldn't get it up going, we're going to do a sneak preview of How Was Your Weekend. How Was Your Weekend is my new talk show for anyone who want to become a lit level member. To become a member is only $1.99 a month and you get this good extra content like this. On the Couch will still be there on Saturday. I will still give my full attention to On the Couch. But guess what? I wanted to add something else new. Something else that we could talk about on a Monday. How everything go for you for the weekend. And so this is a sneak preview of how was your weekend? And if you enjoy this video and you want to continue to get this this particular show, just got to become a member on Lit Level 199 a month, guys. So, how was your weekend? Well, let me tell you something, Pebbles. Oh, well, uh, my bad. Daniel Law said his friend love, love you. He like, can you say hi to Dink? What's Dink. his name? His name Daniel Law, but his, he said his friend love, loves you. He said, can you get a shout out to Dink Ghost? Dink Ghost? Yeah. Hi, Dink Ghost. Did I say that right? You yeah. sure you read that yeah, right? No, D-A-N-K. Who? D-A-N-K. D-A-N-K. Yeah. Dink. Yeah. Dink. Yeah. dink. That's like dunk. But no, yeah. Dink. Dink. I said Yeah, okay. Dink. dink Ghost. Hi, honey. I don't know. See, we didn't get to this gender thing. We had this whole gender thing going on on Saturday with people names and stuff. We don't know whether or not you're a female or male. I've been calling males females and females males because the names be all over the place. And I don't know what, what, what sex you are. We had, man, I'll tell you. And that's why I'm going to get started. How was my weekend? Well, guys, the weekend started off great. I think on Friday we had a bomb live show when we did Division Board. I believe Saturday on the couch was good talk, um, good camaraderie between us, me sharing my vision board. And then, you know, we do our B-I-N-G-O. Man, our B-I-N-G-O was lit Saturday. Can you tell me it was lit? The good fun, the good music, the good conversation that we was having all throughout the whole four hours we were on. Now, if you don't join us on Saturdays, you do not get a playback of Saturday from 5 to 9 because I don't post it on YouTube because we be having music. We be having fun. And, you know, YouTube copyright everything. So that do not get posted. So if you don't join us here on Saturdays at 5, Man, you don't know what you missing. Man. Oh, Kimberly said, I got a new puppy. Okay. He is a teacup. Okay. Chihuahua. My my granddaughter wanted a chihuahua. I want a chihuahua because I am so afraid. Of See? All right, Kimberly, we know what you did over the weekend. Yes. Good morning, Christmas girl. Hey, Queen Low. Yes, Bingo was definitely lit Saturday. <laughs> Hey, Tiki. So. Oh, well, welcome, baby girl. Yes, on the we lit level. Yes, that's what I'm saying, guys. Because you want to get the we lit level. Because the we lit level gets you what? How was your weekend? It gets you what? An extra food video during the week. And it gets you what? A once a month behind the scene of everything that we doing. And it also gets you what? An extra vlog during the month. Man, that's how we doing things here over here in the member section. We lit level. And I want you guys to enjoy all the perks that come along with your one ninety nine a month, guys. This is what we do. But the good content, you ain't got to be a we lit level. The good content. Content will always be here for everyone who constantly, constantly support my channel. So, how was my weekend? Queen said her weekend was nice and relaxing. Oh, uh, thank you, Miss Knight. <laughs> uh, Crystal A said, I'm watching at work, gonna be fired. Oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> We want you to keep your job, girl. <laughs> Man, so, and I tell you, my weekend started out good because you know why? Sunday, like I said, Friday was awesome. Saturday was awesome. Sunday evening was just even more awesome. I, awesome, if that's even the word, I just made up something. You know how we do. We make up our own language here. Um, I was laid back on Sunday, guys, looking at all the TV shows. It was a lot of things going on. It was a lot of premiere nights for me, for the type of shows that I watch. You know, I was so, um, hey, Zach, 
I, I was so um. Me McKinney said because of you, I went out and bought six packs of canvas so I could do vision board. Yes, get that vision board and do what you do. Hey, yo, Mary Israel said we live there. Yes, Mary, we are live. Yo, we Gemini said he from Chicago. Hey, from Chicago. How did y'all get started with the Mingo game? Oh, just come in on Saturday at five o'clock. And if you don't get a notification, just tune into my channel Saturday at 5 o'clock. People see if we there, and we'll explain all of that on Saturday. Okay. And um, and so, let me finish telling y'all about my weekend, because y'all y'all, y'all just going to... I got a lot of FYI's so for anybody who um parents out here. And if you're not a parent, and you on Xbox, or you got a PlayStation, or you got a Wii, and all this other stuff, I got some quick FYI information that took my weekend from this level all the way down to this level and that's why i think i'm so frustrated this morning because i'm still dealing with the frustration and then youtube on top of it want to act up not linking up all my stuff the way they the way they did when we did the test run last week so sunday was going good y'all sunday hey a culture hey shelly hey carl um hey lady luck um uh, lady luck said my weekend was great that's a blessing Y'all, so Sunday was going good, a normal Sunday. You know, we ate and everything. I'm chilling with the family. Christina Price and my eight-year-old son loves watching you cook. Oh, thank you, Christina. Miss Perry. See, I know that was a female. <laughs> and so we doing a good thing. So anybody look at Theater the Walking Dead? Theater the Walking Dead is one of my one of my loves. That premiered this Saturday. That's back on. I looked at my fear of Walking Dead. I look at Walking Dead Beyond. It's a new show. You know, the fear of Walking Dead had this whole universal type thing where they got all these things dealing with the Walking Dead. Hey, Mama Ray in the kitchen and stuff. So I looked at the premieres of all my shows. Um, I went and looked at Lovecraft Country. I had to test um Fear the Walking Dead, and that came on the same time. You know, you got to pick and choose what shows you want to watch. So, guys, I looked at Fear the Walking Dead, came back. It was so awesome. Hey, Key Cam and the fam. Hey, In the Kitchen with Rob. Hey, Mary Wills. Hey, I'm such a pretty lady. And um, I was doing great, guys. The weekend was so good. So, I would say from Friday to Sunday evening, it was great. I looked at all my premiere shows. Look at Lovecraft, Love, um, um, Country Craft, Love Country, whatever that thing on thing is. That thing is a hot mess. I just love it. Hey, Danielle Jones, Fabulous Cooking Show. How you doing? Hey, Gloria. And so, this was my night went wrong. A good thing, me, me, me and Andrew. Hey, Leo. We were the only people woke last night. Just so happened. It was a show on Netflix called Emily in Paris. Great show, by the way. Bench watched it all night. Watched all 10 episodes in one night. This is the reason why I was up all night long. Looking at Emily in Paris. I gave it a thumbs up on Netflix. It's a good, you like good comedy, romantic shows, out of the box stuff. You're going to like Emily in Paris. That's on Netflix. <clears throat> so I bench watched that. My son, Andrew, not knowing... Me and Andrew, the only people woke, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. Literally 3.58 a.m. I hear my son Andrew screaming. Mom, mom, mom. Okay. I'm thinking somebody clammed through the window. The child had a heart attack. I don't know what the hell going on. He in his own room, right? Huh? No, 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 no. Tia said, I was in jail for the weekend, just got home. <laughs> Tia, you know your ass wasn't in no jail for the weekend. I told you, something wrong with you? So, Andrew, calling my name. I said, I'm going to the bathroom. Uh, my first time logging in. Hey, hey, Lady T, I'm talking about a sneak preview on how was my weekend. My new show, Mondays at 12. And so, I come out the bathroom. I got a clock in my bathroom. Look at the time of the clock. It's 3.58. Literally 3.58 a.m. used to stand the time. So literally it's 4, four o'clock. It's in the morning, Monday morning. But I'm up because I'm binge watching Emily in Paris on Netflix. I just got an email. I said, what you get an email for? Somebody just bought a game on your, on your account, on my account. I said, what you mean somebody just bought a game on my account? He said, Mom. So he came running here. 
pulling up his telephone. He not only he get one email, he gets four emails. Four emails. Sixty five fifty nine. Excuse me. Sixty five fifty nine. Sixty five fifty nine. Ten fifty nine. This is money. Come out two separate accounts. Not his bank account, but my bank account. Literally, that don't have no money in it. Okay? One, $65.99. Not one time, but three times. And then a $10.59. Three times. So we, I'm jumping up on the edge of the bed. But what's going on? He said, my Microsoft account got hacked. I said, Joe, who, what, what? He said, my Microsoft account got hacked. He said, somebody just bought three games and paid for a gold membership on your credit cards. I said, what? And I'm looking, I said, it's like 4.10 at this time. It's like 4.10 in the morning. Our weekend was great until this morning. I'm up on the phone with the bank. I'm calling the bank. And I was like, so first he said it was one credit card. He said, no, because I got both your credit cards on my account. I said, you got both my credit cards on your account. He said, yeah. He said they did it. They did it one on the other credit card, and they did it two times plus a membership on the other credit card. I said, oh, hell no. Man, I got up, turned the light on, grabbed my pocketbook, get the 800 number, get the call in my bank. And this is the crazy thing. I ain't trying to be biased because I know everybody need a job. But when you upset and you're calling a 1-800 number at literally 4.30 a.m. in the morning, and unfortunately you get people that don't speak English. They're speaking English, but they dialect. It's off, and you already upset because your bank account, not one credit card, but two bank cards has been <laughs> hacked. You missing over $200 in money that you don't have, and you got set aside for something else? Honey, I was trying to be the best person I could be on this telephone with this man who Dalek was all the way off. I was getting so frustrated. I said, sir, I said, I don't mean no harm. I said, but can you, I had to have this man, everything I was telling him and explaining to him what was going on, I had to keep repeating, keep repeating. I had to keep asking him to repeat, to repeat. It's just like customer service with 800 numbers. And then again, I applaud that everybody need a job. Link but still money on cash out. Oh, honey. That ain't the gist of it. Because, <laughs> because after I finally got off the phone with the bank people, this after I finally got off the phone with the bank, got both the cars straightened out. They gonna um I'm contesting the, the charges and stuff. And then uh, we also contact Microsoft this morning. The people who did it, they in the emails, they tag the numbers. What's that stuff called? They gamer tags. tags was attached to the accounts on what they spent on my credit card. So they gonna get a truck by Microsoft and Xbox. But guys, I go to my cash app card. You hear me? I go to my cash app card. Y'all ready to see something? The attack on my bank account happened four o'clock in the morning, right? I wake up this morning to go to the cash app card. Look at this. What that say? Xbox, 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 Xbox. What that say? Xbox, 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 Xbox. So before they went into my motherfucking bank account, they went in my cash app. Xbox, Xbox, Xbox. 105, 105, 105, 105. They went into my motherfucking cash app. But wasn't nothing there. It was all declined. <laughs> did did y'all just see that? So this is how my weekend ended. My weekend was fine. 
into this bull, sugar honey iced tea happened. So I'm telling everybody, I'm hey, hey, what y'all getting up looking at my sons? Somebody try to hack my on my um my cash app. Five, four times. Try to get $105. $10.59. Each time try to get $105. But it was all declined. Cause it wasn't nothing there. They were trying to send $105 to themselves. I don't know if they were trying to send 105 It just said Xbox. Not I just say Xbox, not enough cash. 1059. Oh, yeah, they try, they try to do 1059 time. two times. Uh -huh. Try to do $105.99 two times. So they try to do this four times. Look at that. Four times. In my cash shop. But I ain't had nothing there. So y'all, y'all know I had a I like I said, my weekend was great. Because technically all this bull happened. Started at four o'clock this morning, and I just have to be up watching TV, binge watching. Can't sleep because of sleep, because of the sleep apnea, and I'm always up looking at TV, insomnia, and all that shit. This what I'm doing. Everybody in America, I might know all y'all probably seen y'all been sleeping, having y'all good at time. I'm up four o'clock, four thirty in the morning, on the phone with the bank with somebody who can't understand me. You know what I'm saying? Who can't understand nothing that I'm saying. Constantly having him repeat. I'm yeah. trying not to get upset. Because I want him to process my phone call. I want him to process the fact that these are unauthorized charges. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh my God. And so this is the irony of it all. I had to then wake up this morning. Um, text my washing machine man. Because... My dryer is broke. My dryer is broke. I have no dryer. It's not like it's not good having a house with no washing machine and no dryer. You got clothes hanging up everywhere. I had a man coming out this morning that bring me a new freaking dryer. I had to text him say, "Hey, I can't get the dryer right now. I'll let you know when I can get it." Because I've been robbed two hundred something dollars out my account that I don't have, man. So my weekend was good. My Monday morning was some sugar honey I see. Life is real out here, people. And the FYI of this story. And um No, that's my um, uh, that's my son Michael. <laughs> they said, who's that in the background? That's Michael. Help me read the um help me read the comments because I'm all over the place. And this is gonna be our top of the conversation on how was our weekend. So that's what I'm saying. That's just why. I created the new talk show, How Was Your Weekend? Because, see, I talked to y'all on Saturday. That's just the beginning of On The Couch, you know? So we're doing good. May or may or not, you may have something happen on Friday night or whatever. But we're doing good on Saturday. We're rocking and rolling on Saturday. Your Sunday may be amazing. But I woke up to some bull sugar honey iced tea Monday morning. And then on top of it, I wake up. I can't even get my members only. Their new talk show, How Was Your Weekend? Because YouTube don't want to connect the links that they gave me to use. I'm sitting here waiting for people to come in. People here sitting on the comment waiting for me to come in. We in the back scene, behind the scenes, trying to connect four and five times, switching out links, and it's still not doing it. So my son say, hey, let's try, um, let's try to... Um, Go on your regular live, explain to people what's going on, because he said it's nothing I could do. I said, but we test ran the members only live. Whoever you guys who came in on the test room, what was it, Saturday after on the couch around two o'clock? We test ran the members live, and you well, guys got it. In the kitchen with Rob said they, Debbie Hill was trying to get an address for you to send you a cashier check. Oh, you have to email me because I don't have a um. And thank you, Miss Hill. I don't have a um, a PO box right now. But you can email me at silvert45 at gmail dot com, and I truly, truly appreciate it. But that's how my weekend went. Hey, Exmo. Hey, C um, Seattle girl. And this is what I was gonna talk to y'all. This is what I was gonna talk to y'all about today about how my weekend. It was shitty. Pretty much shitty. And guess what? That's life. Sometimes stuff like that happens. Because normally I have a great weekend. I'll do, uh, I'll do my, you know, my weekend shows, my weekend time with you guys. You guys are my outlet. 
on Saturdays. I know a lot of you guys say, oh, I love Saturdays to get here. I love Saturdays. I am typically, typically, or typical, or whatever the word is right now, a house person. What I do is that we make flour, we sell flour, I make YouTube videos, and then I play with my grandchildren and watch TV. That's what I do. Even before COVID-19, I don't go out, I don't do anything. So just like a lot of guy people say, I love when Saturday nights come because that's my outlet. That's a time when I wind down, I give myself a drink. I don't drink all week long. I only drink on the weekends. I only drink on Saturdays, occasionally a Friday. Depends on what I got going on live. And I love Saturdays. I look forward to Saturday. That that's that's my life. You guys are my outlet on the weekend. And I had a great weekend up until I always call even it's four o'clock in the morning. I'll still call it a Sunday, but typically I know it's it's a Monday morning. Um, let me give you the website. And I'm just like the weekend started out great for me, but Wow, I hope you will see my package and I hope it makes you smile. Oh, yes! We got it started tonight while we was playing bingo and I just opened it up yesterday, Miss Wilder. I was going to email you. Thank you. And when she's talking about guys, she's talking about this. Look at this cup she made. I'll, I'll tear mug over there. She made my sister tea a cup for our birthday. Look at this cup she made for me, Miss Wilder, and send it to me. Beautiful. I got it right here. Yes, I, I opened it up yesterday when the package came started. She made this for New Life Journey because she drink coffee. She also made my two granddaughters a cup. Aren't these beautiful? Yes, Miss Wilder. I was going to send you an email um, this morning because I just opened them up yesterday. And look, NIEs, look at this. Sahara's in her room. Look at the cup. She sent all of us a cup for our birthdays. I appreciate it. Thank and you. my sons and my sons and us, they really appreciate it. They love the cups. I, I say, oh my God. I didn't open them up. I didn't open it up until yesterday. And I said, and I was gonna say, I'm gonna send you an email. I said, I'm gonna send you an email to thank you today. Because you know I did it yesterday. Yeah. Aren't they beautiful, guys? They Shelly D say, is we in Miracle Rachel Gray? I can't see what she said. Yeah, so that's how or something. That's how my weekend was, y'all. That's how my weekend was. Um, Mimi Lala, she said that's happened to my daughter all through Xbox nine hundred dollars worth of charges. Oh, and, and this was the FYI. Take y'all credit cards off y'all children's stuff. Take it off. I made Andrew. I said, whatever credit cards or debit cards I got on your Xbox, your PlayStation, I said, you take all your stuff off. I woke up this morning. I told Jackson. I told my son. I said, go to Jackson Xbox. Take my credit cards off there. Because we can't do things that we want to do for our family. You know what I'm saying? My credit card is on there because my sons have, um, what's up there? Recurring. They have recurring accounts that got to get paid every month. I'm a, oh, can I purchase a cup? Yeah, I'm going to give her information now because I got the beautiful cards and I stuck her information in my um in my wallet. And and um and so that's why I um cuz it's a it's hectic when each time you got to go and pay the bill, you know? So you got stuff set up so what it could just come out it just come out. You set your bills up so you ain't got to worry about doing nothing. But like I told my children now, so y'all, recurring accounts is done. When y'all shit get cut off, just let me know. And we go in and we pay it. Then we take the credit card off. Oh, they just got to go to the store and buy a card or something. Um... Yeah, so I'm done with recurring bills. You can't even set up your lifestyle for yourself to make it easy to pay your bills without a fojo want to come in who ain't got nothing else to do, who ain't got no ambition, no no, no meaning of life, no drive to make it out there on their own, to get up on their two feet, to work hard every day, to get their own coins to come in and mess with yours. 
You don't know what you're doing. You tapped into my livelihood. I can't even get a damn dryer now because you went in and took my money, but you don't know that because you don't care about that because you're selfish because now you worrying about what you needed for yourself and it wasn't even yours. That's just like, remember back in the early 80s and 90s when people used to wake up, go outside, and their car is gone? Because somebody, you wake up, you go get in your car in the morning time, think you about to go get in your car, you go to your parking lot outside your house, your car is gone? Now back there was a, a thing of people stealing people cars back in the early um, 90s and stuff. Well, when I was growing up in the 90s here in the DMV, man, they were stealing cars left to right. You couldn't go outside without uh, somebody reporting their car was gone. That, that's, that's a bad feeling for something that you work hard for, something that, 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 that belongs to you, something that, that you think is secure. It takes another MF to come along and say, I'm taking that from you. I'm taking that. You know what I'm saying? You you, you you don't deserve that. It don't belong to you. I, I'm taking it because I want it. I didn't even work for it. I don't care how it's going to affect you, but I want it. So I'm taking it. Oh, that's the thing, um, La La. Love me. Andrew, in the emails, then it's the thing. It got to be some stupid little kids because when they purchase an order, they purchase orders came to my emails. Cause so all the stuff is registered to my email. So it came down on the emails and their gamer tags. Their gamer tags was attached to the orders. So Microsoft, Andrew had to fill out a three, three forms for Microsoft. So we are supposed to get our money back. I did what I had to do on the bank end. Hopefully if the young man understood me, but I'm telling you, I had a time of it, 4.30 in the morning with communication skills. But Andrew talked to someone this morning. We did Microsoft and we did the bank. So with both of them together, I should get my funds back. Sometimes yeah, it's week. It's yeah. Sometimes it's weak. I don't know, but um, it's just crazy. We're not safe out here, and that's why I see now why a lot of people don't like. Oh, I don't use credit cards, or I don't do this. And that, that's why a lot of people don't like giving up their bank information. That's why a lot of people don't um put their cards or everything. And you know, oh, people still use cash because technology is advanced and it's so advanced that they could just swipe and steal from us. So my sons just told me just now, Mom, if I was you, I'll just go ahead and get two new cards. So when we get off this live, I'm going ahead and just lock those cards off. Excuse me, because we took them, we took them off all the Xboxes and PlayStation's accounts. But you know what? They I'm got just, your, they got your card number. My son said, Mom, out. they got your card number because they try to go on your cash out. So I think I'm going to give me a new cash. I'm going to give me, give me a new cash out card. And I'm going to give me two new bank cards. But, you know, you do Nikki T. And that's what I'm saying. It is so, um, <laughs> it is so crazy. You say send $100 to get bank $1,000. <laughs> so it's, um, so, y'all, that was my weekend. The beginning of my Monday, and then you two don't want to work. <laughs> Power Talk Candy says she got an uncle and aunt. They never use credit or debit. They pay the all their bills. Oh, they don't pay no bills online. Mm, they, they, they smart. But society has made us so. I'm not even going to lie. Society made me lazy. And I say that with that, they make things convenient for you. You know what I'm saying? And it's the way of the new world. Things are changing. Sooner than later, money may be obsolete. Money may be obsolete. There may not be no more currency. Far as like paper and exchanging. Shoot, y'all know it's possible because just now in the COVID-19, they ran out of coins. How the heck you run out of coins? There are signs. They even had commercials. And then when you go to certain stores, there were signs up. We have shortage on coins. Please pay exact change or ask you to exchange um, bills for coins. 
currency is not what it used to be and the value of it is going to go down soon after a while it's not even going to be any more exchanging dollar bills everything's going to be electronic i'm telling you i'm speaking on everything's going to be electronic because in the in, in, a, in this pandemic that we're going through i'm not going to say a small pandemic but in the in the midst of this pandemic we've literally ran out of change and i know you guys seen it, it just didn't happen here you know what i'm saying so it's crazy. Michael, have me that my pocketbook. Jackson, I'm calling Jackson first in the morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and Jackson, come and have me my pocketbook because I want to give Miss um Miss Wheeler um information about get to everybody. Cause I stuck your cards and everything right in my no my big old purse. I got big old kinds of purses, honey. Yeah. So this weekend was just it was just crazy. But I'm going to say my weekend was fabulous. My Monday morning was, the beginning of my week was jacked. Yeah, yeah I am just, hey, I'm going to do everything. My son told me that just now before we was going live. He said, Mom, you need to just get rid of everything. He said, get a new cash out. He said, get new um bank cards. Call your bank when you get finished. Uh, you need new cash. I didn't know you, they, you just need a new bank card because your bank cards can have to see your cash out. That's how they were Oh, y'all got me some cold out. orange juice. Cold orange juice. Okay, is the cup lady on here? Yes, the cup lady on here. Put your information in. Miss Wilder. It is called Miss Wilder. Jackson, stop screaming in the background. I'm trying to talk. Miss Wilder. It's called Wilder. I'm about to put it in here. W-I-L-D-E-R. Wilder Customs. C-U-S-T-O-M-S. And she has a um a 800 number, too. Wildem's custom customs and it's 800 number 856 7 Yeah, I'm slow. 761 7874 And this is all on the business card so it is see So everybody grab that number Wilder's customs Eight five six seven six one seven eight seven four. That's Wilder Customs. Eight five six seven six one seven eight seven four. Miss Wilder said, "Thank you, I appreciate." Oh no, honey, this is good artwork, baby. I was gonna do this anyway. I was gonna share. So yes, if y'all could see that, y'all grab it. Yeah, look, he said, I, I see, I knew we was in a depression, right? I knew we was in depression. Yeah, but look at that again. Isn't that beautiful? The rhinestones, my name look, on the back. Oh, I don't even know which way to do this thing. Tanya, that's beautiful, right? And I'm not, and the thing is, I know everybody's out here strong. Oh! I ain't never tell y'all what happened, did I? Two Saturdays ago, I never told y'all what happened. Okay, and this is how I know we in a depression, y'all. Was it what Friday this happened? Two Fridays ago, right? I don't know what you're Joshua about. Carr. Oh yeah. Two Fridays yeah. ago, two Fridays ago, and I meant to share this with you guys, and I forgot. And I know we're in depression, a lot of stuff going on. Two Fridays ago, I'm always up. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. Me and Jackson up this time. 4 o'clock in the morning, two Fridays ago. Y'all hear that? That's what we heard. That's somebody knocking at the door, right? Jackson said, Mom, see, I don't know why people always come get me. Why he don't go get his big brothers and stuff? He said, Mom, Mom, I'm asleep. This time I was actually asleep. I wasn't up this time by 5 o'clock in the morning. He said, Mom. Somebody knocked at the door. What? I said, somebody knocked at the door. And you know, I'm halfway asleep. He I'm not even thinking to go get one of my sons. I'm looking at the clock. I said, it's 4 15 in the morning. Who knocking at our door? So Jackson scared. He behind me. And you know, I'm halfway asleep. So I'm doing like this, trying to get my legs together and walk and cutting on living light, rubbing my eyes. I'm like, 
Who is it? I'm like, who is it? The police. I heard it woke up then. I said, the police. Me and Josh look at each other. Even though he said the police, I turned the push light on. I still peeped out the door. Honey, it was the police. It was not only the police. It was the police. All of my neighbors. All of my neighbors outside. Six houses. All of my neighbors outside. The police knocking on everybody's door. We had a car break in. Somebody on a bicycle broke in everybody's car. One, two, three, four, five neighbors. Everybody cars was broken. Everybody windows was knocked out. The guy next door to me, the people across the street from me, the lady next door to us, us and the lady across the street. Five houses, seven cars. Five houses, seven cars. Nobody alarms goes off. And only reason the and then only reason the police got caught because the guy who lived next door to me. He was up watching TV. He heard something, and he get up. That's when he saw the dude breaking. I don't know which last um, house he was getting. He hopped in his car, chased him. chased him down in his truck. But the dude was on a damn bicycle. You hear me? The dude was on a bicycle, and he hopped off the bike and ran through cuts and stuff. And the dude came back, and he called the police. Police outside. All our neighborhood woke at 4.30, 4.45 in the morning. We outside. It's cold in our pajamas. My son car window busted out. Everybody car's window busted and everything. This family on a bicycle busting out windows in everybody car, checking everybody cars. Well, evidently he didn't get none. You know you didn't get none of our car because we don't leave no money and we don't got nothing. The guy next door said he got an expensive stereo system with speakers in his car, but his intent, I don't know what his intent was because he was doing all of this on a bicycle. So I said, that's, that's me and the neighbors. We was all outside talking. The police got their flashlight looking so, around. So Rena said, how did no one call alarm not go on? Nobody called alarm and went off. Everybody around here got car alarms. And it, that's funny about it. Everybody right here got car alarms. Seven cars down. Five houses woke. Getting woke up by the police. Now one car alarm, now, alarm goes yeah, off. My own son car alarm didn't go off. And he has a car alarm on his car. So this family had a field day digging around in everybody's cars. And two, I don't know if he got to the final car or my next door neighbor car was the final car. And that's when he heard all the commotion and he came to the door and saw what's going on. He yelled out to the dude. The dude jumped on a bike. He jumped in his truck, started chasing him. I said, and that was even dangerous for him because he didn't know whether or not the dude had a gun or not. But he's talking about, if I would have I caught him, I would have killed him. And then my son talking that same stuff. I said, first of all, you ain't killing nobody over no broken car window. Because it ain't worth it. I said, it's a lot of things going on. There's a lot of things going on. And it's, well, you know how people talk. Boy, I know you wasn't going to kill nobody for real. It's just the word of mouth, how upset you were. He don't come out here and look at me talking about this. Mom, I know you wasn't going to kill nobody for real. Just that everybody was upset. That's the form. We all say stuff like that. When we upset, when somebody messes something that we that we, that we work hard for and it takes us a long time to get. You know what I'm saying? Thirteen year old boys was sitting in my car while me and my husband went outside to get in the car. My husband almost lost it. And the teenager lived three houses down. Wow. Wow. <laughs> my sons get so mad when they say you tell anything. <laughs> and everybody know you ain't killing nobody. You was just upset. Everybody was talking off the side of their head and stuff. But it is crazy. So that happened to us two weeks ago on a Friday night. And you know, my course, everybody got their windows repaired. You no, know? and we, and the thing about it, I think we got hit because I live on a quiet street. We, there's no kids on the street. It's all elderly, senior citizen. And when I say our street is a nice, quiet, residential neighborhood. We like seven blocks down from the hood. Though. But we like seven blocks down from the hood. I'm gonna say that because that's the direction that he chased it back in. Red so, red, so, um, hey, who knows? But, um, it was crazy. 
That, that, that was crazy. So my then my son, he, he had paid for a window. That window cost three hundred something dollars. Hey, Tracy, baby, my son got a machete, and, I got a vest because of my and he got a vest because of his job, and he got a and he got a machete. He took my, that's my, my hey, my son got, got yeah, my son got gun license too, but I don't want no gun in the house. I'm afraid to have a gun in the house. For one, DC don't have a defend yourself law. They don't. We do not have a defend yourself law. So that's one reason. Uh, That's one reason why I don't uh, want a gun in the house and something happen. You still gonna have to get locked up, go to court, may even possibly go to jail. Cause we don't have a self defense law in the in the in the, in the, in the District of Columbia. So, hey Tamika. So yeah, but yeah, this was crazy. That happened two years ago. Now I meant to tell y'all about it that day on on the couch, but I gotta end up talking about something else and I end up forgetting. Yeah, so. Y'all, that's crazy. Oh, so, yo, we in DC. We live in Washington DC. Yes, and that's and you know what I did, y'all. They used to call, <laughs> they call you know what I did, day. right? Who gonna tell me? Who gonna tell me what she did? What website she went on, y'all? Y'all know what your girl did. Somebody put it up there. You know where I went to? <laughs> Quick, fast, in a hurry. That same morning. Mm. You know where I went to? Amazon. <laughs> to see what they got. To see what they got. Man. And that's what it's like. You know. I say it's hard out here. It is. I am, um, Miss Harris. I am. I said it's hard out here. And I don't want to have sympathy for people that commit a crime against me. Because I'm pretty much in the same boat you in. Trying to make it trying to take care of family, trying to pay bills, and trying to um, rob from Peter to pay Paul. We are all living that life right now. There's a difference between you and me is that I don't, I'm not balls enough to go and take from someone else. I refuse to do that. First of all, I'm scared to go to jail. Okay? Ricky W said, can he be a moderator? Um, yes. Um, you, <laughs> like I tell everybody, Ricky, you got to come to Saturday night. For some reason, I don't know how to do the mods on here. Oh, wait a minute. I might could do it because I'm live. Let me. Oh, yeah, I could do it now. We good. I don't know how to do it on my telephone. Let me go back to his name. Ricky w. I see him. Yes. There you go, Ricky. You're now the Mari. I could do it when I'm on a computer live, but I can't do it when people ask me to do it on my phone live because it's never, some, for some reason, it's never up there. Lola, you said what you buying for Amazon today? Um, Lola, I ain't trying to buy nothing today for Amazon. The last thing, what's the last thing I buy for Amazon? And I just told my store in the law the other day, I, they got this rotisserie that I want. Because, you know, the holidays coming, we're going to start doing holidays videos. And they got this rotisserie. Cost about $80. That's the last thing I'm getting. And I said that's the last thing I'm buying for Amazon. Because I'm getting this rotis electric rotisserie. Oh, it's are. big. No, <clears throat> for real, I was telling Jelena, I, I, I ain't buying nothing else on Amazon. That's the last thing I'm going to buy. Yeah, all right, Mom. Is that rotisserie. Uh gun for self-defense as long as it's licensed now in the dmv we you could license and we, i i think we can't even license handguns i think we do if i if i'm not mistaken i think we could license um with shotguns and, I, AR, and, AR. and ars but you can do handguns too you know i used to work for 311 and we used to call the um they made it harder to get the license. You, mm. you got to have a reason why you want the gun, too. And you got to get approved. It don't get hey, approved. Vince Weaver, yes. Hi, And so, um, oh, hey, and that's raising y'all. Oh, I got to go. Because I got to start recording at 2 o'clock. I told my son, love to y'all, I got to be on time with my son. What we call I told y'all I have my editing. There's one reason. Oh, your boy Weaver said, can you make that one right now? You oh, know what? Um, Miss, I did. I just did. Miss Weaver, <laughs> I just did. Uh -huh. 
That's and that's just why you keep you keep it to yourself. Look, this is why. Oh, yeah, this your cup, baby. Huh? Take your cup. That's your cup. Um, I need Amazon rehabilitation. <laughs> I said that, but look, this just why. Um, I did my um my uh. I tell myself I'm not going to buy anything else on Amazon. Every time I buy, I do that too. But this time I'm for real. I think I've been clean for a week. I think I've been clean for a week. <laughs> That's so sad. I've been clean for a week for Amazon. I'm proud of myself. I need to give myself a one week chip. But I know I'm about to break that barrier because I want to get that rotisserie for Thanksgiving. Because I want a rotisserie, a chicken. A lady I'm in a. T oh, Lady Libra, thank you. I want to rotate. I want to do a roast, a roasted chicken, in this thing. It. I seen people use it, and it looks so amazing. It like your turkey look. There's something different in this rotisserie, electric rotisserie, and, and, and I think at least face up for when you cook at Thanksgiving, you can have your turkey cooking over in the rotisserie and using your oven for a lot of different other things. That's why um look, low life said clean for a week. <laughs> I have it. <laughs> He said, hey, I'm watching while at work again. Got to get back into it. Yes, lady. I, um. I've been clean for a week, but I know I'm going to break it because I'm going to buy that rotisserie, and that's the only thing I'm going to buy. But um, I do got to go because I told Fufu 2 o'clock that I want to record. And what I'm cooking tonight, I have, man, I went to Costco's. I got these two big pot roasts. So the video y'all getting tomorrow, I am making um, boneless chunk pot roast, yams, and macaroni. That's what they having for dinner tonight, and that's the video I'm about to make. Cause I told my son to cook a pot roast. It takes a couple of hours, and I said I want to start the video at two o'clock, so I know that y'all be eating by five thirty, six o'clock, and the video be done. And that's y'all Tuesday video. Um, boneless um chuck roast. That's what I'm making tonight. That's the video I'm about to make for tomorrow. Hey, Portia Queen for life, peace. Good night, everybody. And, uh uh. Oh, September 27th, mine's September 28th. Hey, DC Kool-Aid, Lisa. I don't know what brown, um, what he used. I know I pay a yearly price for it, but I, I want to say it's one this year, and I pay for it, but I'm not sure what he used. I ain't into, into the editing thing. I just make the videos, and he go down do what he do. So I'm not sure what it is, but I do. Got to go. I told him 2 o'clock. I'll be ready to make this video for, for the video for tomorrow. And again, to all my lip level members, I do apologize for our first show. How was your weekend? But guess what? Our Soul Squad, everybody is a Soul Squad member. You got to get a taste of how was your weekend. And this is how it's going to go down. But I hope I have a better weekend than I had this weekend. Technically, it wasn't my weekend that was messed up. It was my Monday, the beginning of my week that was messed up. But guess what? If you become a member, you get to get those um, <laughs> details. You get to get how was the weekend. I want to know how your weekend was. You know what I'm saying? Did you do something you weren't supposed to do? Or did you just lay back and had a chill weekend and everything went kosher? Sometimes I have a great weekend. Everything be on point. But this was a hectic week. On what? Oh, yeah, I tell yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. Because I'm going to get it before Thanksgiving. Because I want to get it before Thanksgiving. And um, if you go on Amazon, you can see them. It's, um, it's a rotisserie pot. My mother got one. That's why I won. My mother has one, but she don't use it. But she won't give it to me. Because it was her mother's. And I'm and my grandmother, may she rest in peace, she's no longer here. So I understand my mother won't give it to me because it was her mother's. So I say I want one. I was supposed to get one last year. Hey, 100% pure love. But I didn't. But I'm getting one this year because I thought it was kind of expensive. When I saw the prices on it, it's affordable. So that's what I'm going to do. But yes, y'all, I got to go work. I love you guys. Thank you guys for becoming members. Hopefully next Monday, um, Lit Level, 
Every day be kosher. But guess what? We're going to test run it again later on this evening. Or I might test run it tomorrow. Um, Just to make sure. I'm going to keep doing test runs on the lives in the members area. So that I can make sure we get this thing down packed. Right now, it's a YouTube issue. Hey, Lady Prayers one. I don't know what's going on with them. But. Yes. Welcome, lady. Welcome. Yes. So, I'm out of here. Who we know what we about to do. I got to go make a video. I love you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. You got a food recipe video coming tomorrow. And let, um, and, um, I just want to say this. I want, um, I get confused with my own thing. That's just who I am. Um, lit level members, your extra video will be up on Thursday. You know, y'all two extra videos is Mondays and Thursdays. Mondays for the talk show and Thursdays for your extra food recipe. So, we gonna get this thing together. But I'm out. I love you guys. Bye, sister. <laughs> Oh, if someone wanted my email, you contact me at Sovati45. Right oh, it's, if it's not there, it's because for some reason, that's why I said you two got issues. It's supposed to be a join button in between the subscribe and the bell. It's supposed to be a button to say join. But if it's not there, you can go to my video in my description area. The link is there so that you can join. I don't know why the button isn't there. You see all the little cute emojis that um, Queen Lo using? So you get to use all those little cute emojis like that and everything. Ah. Shout out to all the members. Yes, Low Life be doing his thing. Yeah. All right, y'all. I got to go because y'all know I would never go. And y'all would never get a video. And my son wouldn't mind. Because every time he's like, don't you know we got to make a video? He be like, oh, that's today? Like, he don't know the schedule. He, he'll better for me stay right here and talk to y'all. And he won't remind me. Mom, it's almost 2 o'clock. Almost time to make that video. He won't remind me. Because he'll be downstairs on the game. He'd rather be doing that. <laughs> but I'm going to remind him. Let me go make this video. I'm out, guys.